This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a new episode of FFPÖ. My name is Paul and this is the 49th episode recorded on July 20th. 2017 and i have him back the king of the trash it is reginald barris i don't like that i don't like that <laughs> nickname i don't think that was a very accurate way of describing me king of trash no 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 you you in this podcast definitely oh, not i like to think of myself as the mr rogers of crowd work <laughs> jack called me the johnny depp of the vienna comedy scene how are you do johnny depp of the vienna comedy scene he feels like i should be wearing rings all right, I and don't. you have the crazy hair already, yeah. yeah I can what, see that. That's what Johnny Depp... And I beat women, so... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Johnny Depp does that? Uh, apparently, there's like hot water from his ex or his wife or something. Okay. I don't know. Not my business, to be honest. Sounds like Johnny Depp's business in this case. It do- yes. It does sound like it's his... Yes. Not the Johnny Depp of... Yeah, this is no. a pun of some... Sort, or are no. you just saying that it's it, it concerns Johnny Depp that Johnny Depp may or may not be beating somebody? Yeah, that yeah. definitely yeah. seems like it concerns yeah. him more yeah. than us. Yeah, because what us what concerns us is Ninochka, a nineteen 19- a woman I would love to be. She was <laughs> she was miserable. No one would even feel bad. No, one, not a single person would feel bad for her because she's just a Russian robot. Like she's the original. She's those sex robots from Austin Powers. If if it was if it was a Cold War documentary. <laughs> okay okay uh new nickname in this case for you uh you're the uh the, you're the third polisher in this case because every time we have a bad movie you make uh you go on those rants and it is very enjoyable to see yeah. <laughs> look you 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 podcast folks might not notice this but reggie's facial expressions are 100% made out of gold uh, every single time. You audio listeners might not notice this, but <laughs> Reggie's facial. <laughs> he's like, you might not notice that thing you've never seen once. <laughs> oh, there's some people who know you from real life that listen to the podcast. I recognize on the street today. Not from <laughs> FFPU. <because of> my, <laughs> my, uh, uh. <laughs> How crazy would that be? I heard you that one time on FFPU. You were pretty good. It would be almost as bad as that time I was doing a gig I in enjoyed Munich. Batman and Robin. <laughs> and then he punches you in the dick and leaves. It'd be like that one time I was in Munich doing a gig. And right before the gig, this guy came up to me and said, Oh my God, you're Reggie, right? I was like, yeah, do I know you? He's like, I recognize you from Open Phil. And I'm like, well, that's embarrassing. Open Phil? It's an open mic in Vienna. It, but it's okay. like, it's one of those ones that's not comedy. It's just whatever. Oh. And it's oh. not good for comedy. Okay. It's the FFPU of open mics. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. Oh, someone's, throwing some serious throwing shade. Some shade. Yeah. <laughs> Get some cows up in this field because I'm laying shade all over the place. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cows were central to the plot of this movie. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I like that it took you 49 <laughs> tries to get a seamless in, like, sentence where you could say plot like that. <laughs> I also like that you're doing this as the 49th episode, and as you're starting it, every time we have notes in front of us, and you're like, welcome to the show. This is the 49th episode recorded on 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 the, on the 20th of the 7th month of 2017. Fuck you, <laughs> Fuck you Reggie. Master of Trash. <laughs> Again, King King Polish Turds. No, Polish Turds. Polish Turds. That's what. Yeah, this movie was from uh, Billy Wilder. It was, it was a Polish written, turd written, right there. Written by Billy, uh, we, there yeah. were three writers. Three writers on this movie. That explains why there were three movies in this movie. <laughs> right, there were three movies. Yeah, it's let's go to the plot. All yeah. uninteresting, but yeah. There were. <laughs> so we have the Three Stooges, Russian edition. I don't even know the plot of this movie, man. I tuned out <laughs> quite early on, but like yeah. it was It's about jewels. It was just a bunch of, about a bunch of rich Russian people like kind of going to cotillions and having galas and then this 
uh, this. If anybody's seen Veep, it's the it's the daughter's wife is what this woman looked like, like a pretty yeah. version of her, but like with the exact same demeanor, somehow more robotic. Because uh, they had yeah, expressed that she's, she's Russian. Russian, and she just came up and she was so like. Why I don't understand happiness. Why are you happy? <laughs> happy is not the logical. Like one guy was literally you hitting on her. You have to punish her. me for being happy too much. Yeah, but that was after she already gained some yeah. emotions for a while. Yeah, yeah. When they first met, like a guy was hitting on her. A guy was literally trying to fuck her, and she said, "I do not understand why love is such an important thing. Love seems like a very unnecessary significance where we just have this sentimentality about what is really a biological, no, a chemical, a chemical reaction. reaction. Yeah, and <laughs> like if she." It was just like, God damn, you were. Yeah, that the wind is still fucking with the audio recording. Yep. Yep. It's... Not as much as Reggie's voice is, but it's, <laughs> they're both, they're both terif- terrifying. Uh, no, no, you're doing, uh, you're doing fine, man. You're doing fine. I'm so tired. <laughs> this movie tried to put us to sleep really actively. Did. That and the fact that it took us five hours to watch it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, um, it's about basically the russian revolution and the aftermath and the the that they were selling uh precious jewels the the soviet union was trying to raise money to buy why did you just become borat for two seconds (laughs) for uh, precious jewels yes it's like earlier when you said the word mongols are also russians it's like well they came out with this new revamped platform like you just Slip into <laughs> random tropes for no reason for not very long. Very nice, yes. Uh, um, Eat my shorts, man. <laughs> hey, you would make a great Bart Simpson, in what? my opinion. Why? Uh, just, you know, a, a grown-up you know, version you know, right now. You're just an asshole oh. with ridiculous hair. <laughs> that was would be one or two aspects that would make it work, but your Eat Your Shorts line was great. Um are you trying to figure out the plot right now? Staring no, at no, the no. Notes? I, I have no notes for plot. Um, <laughs> Fuck the plot. Which is really sad because one of my notes under plot was how everybody just explained the plot. Yeah. Like, it was just a bunch of expository everybody, writing. Everybody exposes it all the time. Yet I have no thing. idea what the plot was. In a two-hour movie. It was, it was way too long. Yeah, it's crazy long. Especially for what is basically a love romance Combined with a very shitty it, heist It's movie. basically a shitty Russian Casablanca. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It is. In, yeah. in a, a lot of regards, it is. I mean, they even like punch someone in the face with with that. I don't know if they did. Did they do that in Casablanca? I feel like every movie from every, the 30s every had... Every movie had that punch. In had this. a guy punching somebody with a, with a with one of those powerful punches that come from your elbow. Yeah. Yeah. That's where all the power lies, man. It's all in the elbow. It's all in the elbow. Uh, <laughs> just like this movie swung with its elbow... And missed. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Reggie's so pissed off. Another thing I didn't understand was where they were at. Because as you pointed out, they yeah. they didn't do a lot of like um, establishing shots. Yeah. Where like they really yes. show that you're in Paris. Yeah, because they couldn't shoot in Paris in 1939. <laughs> yeah, they just got like... Like, all their establishing shots were just postcards that they kind of jiggled to make it look like it was yeah. a video. Uh, stock footage, man. It's all stock footage. But the thing that bothered me yeah, was the accents. These accents made no sense. <laughs> like, it was a lot of transatlantic accents. For for a movie mostly playing in Paris? Yeah. Yeah, almost. Like, it was all Paris or Russia with mostly Parisians or Russians. Yeah. And it was a bunch of transatlantic accents or shitty attempts at British accents <laughs> with no explanation as to why they would have said accents. Except for the butler. Except for the butler who was what? British. And he was supposed to be British. Yeah. And he said, for some reason, he had a South African accent. Did he? I have no idea. That'd be funny to say. <laughs> I don't know. No one's going to that... watch this movie. No one's going to know if I was right. No, the, the the thing is, if you type in Ninochka, the first thing that pops up is Ninochka full movie on YouTube. That's like the first thing that. The pops second up. thing that. <laughs> the second thing that pops up is a poster that says Ninochka. Don't pronounce it. See it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which, uh, which every one of those actors took to heart. They're like, look, yeah. I don't need to pronounce things like a Russian. <laughs> I'm just gonna say words. Especially and you're the main it. character who just refuses to sound like a Parisian. And the, the, yeah. The, or act like a Parisian. That's the thing. Like he, or he, be a Parisian. She, he met this robot on the street. This fucking <laughs> Nanochka. I'm pretty sure Nanochka is like Russian for robot because... Robot she, n- model number two. 
Because, Nailed it. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so he met her on the street while she was looking at a map, mm-hmm. and then she was like, "Hey, do you know where North is?" And he's like, "Well, I don't, I don't trust myself without my compass." Uh, which, <laughs> Yeah, we have some weird attempts at flirting. Yeah, and then and then she's like, okay, never mind. And she's like, he's like, well, what do you need help? Well, I'd like to help, uh, which is not how he sounded. It was like this weird, it was like a British-y thing, right? Yeah. It was like no, a, he's, um, I it think... Was a, it's it was a, like an American trying to be British. Yes. To prove that he's French. Yes. So... <laughs> I can do something from the old continent. Uh, <laughs> That's enough. Well, and this, she was like, where's the, I need to get to the Eiffel Tower. And he said, "Whoa, we Parisians, we never, we never go to the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. <laughs> we never go there because we're too busy. The only time we go there is to jump off of it." And I'm like, "Dude, you're not Parisian. Like, you're cl- one. You already stopped and talked to somebody <laughs> speaking English, so you're definitely not Parisian. Because I've been to Paris. They don't do that. Also, they had all flawless English. We never had like miscommunication. No, well, things they didn't miscommunications, but uh, the robot. Surprisingly, the robot was not programmed perfectly with her English because she made some like yeah. natural mistakes. Yeah, but." Yeah, this guy made no mistakes with his English. It was quite English. And then, like, he said, oh, what was the first thing he did? It was, oh, yeah, they were talking about the Eiffel Tower he was giving her. Yeah. Because it turned from her saying, okay. Then she said, <laughs> I want to know, I want to know where we're at. Do you know where we're at? And he points on the map and he's like, well, you're right here and I'm right here. And he yeah. puts his hand on her back or whatever. She's like, I don't want to know this. Like, she's, I literally said, this is, yeah. I do not care about that. I only care about how to get the quickest route between these two points. Like, yeah. straight up robot shit. Uh-huh. And then they, she went there. And then he went there with her because he's a creep. <laughs> then he told her all he's, the. He's quite. He's quite. T- for today's standards, he is quite creepy. For back then, he was a, 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 a charmer. A, wow, he yeah. hasn't raped me yet. This date's going fantastic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, I was really drunk, but uh, he just put me to bed and left like a gentleman with all the jewels. No, he no, didn't. I know. <laughs> but, uh, but. My point is this: <laughs> nobody fucking cares no about one, the jewels. No one cares. About nobody. The jewels cares. had no plot point, really. Like not really. They just no, kind of just made her... the Duchess uh, convincing her that it's uh, that it's a failed mission, and she should, you know, yeah for, yeah. for the for the listeners who feel like we're jumping around, and I say this every time because we do jump around a lot. Yeah, we jump but, along the road. But lot. understand that you know, like sometimes it actually matters if we jump around. And it's like, well, I'm getting confused, and I'm yeah. like, hey, watch the movie, you'll love it. I've never right. said that once about a movie I've watched <laughs> in this podcast. But my point is, this time it doesn't like these were the I did not give a shit about any of these characters. <laughs> Yeah, not, not no, a single shit. You, you that 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 made me actually really anxious while while watching this movie with you was that you didn't get angry, you just got bored. Yeah, which which is way worse in my mind when I when I want to get something out of you. But it, like, it was so boring. I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, these are the least <laughs> compelling characters in the world. So he starts explaining. They like, are really bland. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, even the three Russians that they're trying to. Why are the Why are they the first characters to be introduced? Why Why are they Why are they're they? They're irrelevant for most of the movie. Yeah, they're not in most they're, of they're, the movie. They're, they're like comic relief that keeps popping up and makes out. Not even 50%. keeps popping up because they popped up. They did their little thing. And then they disappeared for like an hour. Yes. And then they showed up right when they showed up on the plane when she was getting deported. Right. That was the next time they showed up after yeah. like an hour of them not right. being there. And then they were in Russia. And my and point then, is, creepy yeah. dude follows her to the Eiffel Tower. He's telling her all about it. And he says, "Oh, it's X number of square yardage." And it's like, yeah. why the fuck is this Parisian with a transatlantic a- accent <laughs> explaining things in yardage? Yeah. Then they go back to his place and they start talking. And he's, she's like, "Tell me." He's like, "Tell me about yourself." I'll start with me. Uh, and yeah. and he's like, I'm 200 pounds, and I'm I'm six, just above six feet. I'm like, yeah. why is this Parisian speaking English with a transatlantic posh accent, <laughs> talking in yardage, pounds, and feet and inches? Right. You are going out of your way to fuck this up, <laughs> Billy Wilder. Like you're going out of your way to bring measurements into it. Like that's the one thing that's going to throw it off and make it completely. Yeah. That's the only thing that's going to make it not authentic. <laughs> Um, Ex- no, the baguettes were amazing in that. In that. In that. Nothing in, was amazing in that scene where where he made his jokes the first time. Yeah. Uh, to ch- see that make him a redeeming character, because was that they, before? They, they that was spent, before or after they, they were they in her place. They spent his introduction uh, introducing him ma- basically as a sleazy dirtbag, and then they 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 made him made him human, but let him tell a few jokes. The jokes were break. after or before she they kissed. Before. Um, I think 
It was I'm, before because he, he yeah, followed her. Yes. Like he just, she went to a cafe. Yeah. And she's like, why are you here? And he's like, I always come to this cafe. Yeah. And he's like, oi. And that guy in the corner was like, oi. oh, hey. And he's like, oh, yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, you know, good friends. And then yeah. the waiter's like, oh, it's always good to see a new customer, which is what waiters do. <laughs> it's not, especially Parisian waiters. They definitely yeah. don't yeah. just ignore you. Um, They're like hardcore Austrian waiters. Yeah. Yeah. So. So he did that. He started telling her some jokes, and the jokes are bad. It was like two guys are looking at the moon, and they're like, "Wow, it must be crowded up there." Why aren't you laughing? That was a good joke. <laughs> like, like she, she pretty much just did like the he, the same thing as like an open mic comedian who just has garbage jokes but blames oh, yeah. the audience. Yeah, like it's like three minutes yeah. into a bit, and you're just like, "Fuck you guys! You guys just don't get it." That was a good joke. I right, didn't an like that excellent one. Excellent joke. Everybody else laughed except you. Well, he had another truck that was like, oh, a guy was walking down the street and his name was uh, McGillicuddy. And the guy was like, name was M- M- O'Malley. Mc- yeah. And he's like, hi, my name is O'Malley. Hi, my name is McGillicuddy. It's like, how's, your, what, how's Mrs. O'Malley? Yeah. How's Mrs. McGillicuddy? Why aren't you laughing? I don't get it. This is a good joke. This is a good joke. <laughs> and then, what was the one that they actually laughed at? Oh, it was him the coffee. Just, coffee. No, him doing no, 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 slapstick. No, no, no. no, no. Uh, the oh, other the people laughed first. He's cream. like, no, here's one. I know this one's funny because I almost cried when I laughed, heard, heard it the first time. Yeah. They went, one woman to the waiter oh, and she said, man, I want a coffee he... with no cream. And 20 minutes later, the waiter came back and said, sorry, ma'am, we're out of cream. Would you like it with no milk instead? What do you mean that's not funny? What do you mean that's not funny? That's hilarious. And he starts like slamming his hand down in like almost like Hitler and that thing that they just like, it's what, the, it would, in, 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 those, in those things where like they would like subtitle the Hitler, like, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah. And it would just be about like, like the ending of Lost or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like that, the text that he actually had to read for the dialogue of this film is what you would expect them to put as subtitles on that Hitler film, making fun of something <laughs> stupid. Like, no, that's just a good joke. You have no sense of humor. <laughs> Everybody's laughing but you. And then his chair breaks, and then she just starts laughing for the first time, <clears throat> showing emotions. Yes. I think it might even be the first time she breathed because she is not a human being. Yes. And he was like, I think you're the most lovely creature in the world. It's like, I don't even think she's a creature. Like, I think she's, <laughs> I think she was fabricated in an oil factory. Yes. So, and, no, in a, in, a, in a Russian lab to make a more efficient comrade. That's where she came from. Definitely. That's, that's, that's Russian creepy technology for you. You know that one time where they put like a dog's head on another dog yeah 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 stuff like that man yeah oh you mean like the kind of story that would have been way more interesting to put in than an oversized tank and, <laughs> and infrared wasn't wasn't german it was still nazis yeah i mean not nazis but it's still world war ii yeah. <laughs> it was russian nazis <laughs> like, as far as my history is concerned i was you know, i'm right please listen back to shifty history with me as a guest. And all on, is on us. It on was a, yes. 18, episode 8. No. 17. Right. Yeah. Yes. It's called nice. Shifty History. Yeah. yeah. Just just look out for that one, guys. It's a, It'll be the only one I already about. got a compliment for, for it. For for me just listening Putting to your pool. Putting up with me. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was the compliment. Like, you... What the fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> no, I made that podcast fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like this one. Oh fuck! I I think I don't know, man. Should we should we continue with the plot? No. I think we just just move on. Yeah. Uh, let, let's let's just talk about the ending, which wasn't an ending and was dragged out like fifteen minutes by the Russian ru- life's horrible in Russia again thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you take over on that one. Yeah, sure. So at. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Stop being Paris. Well, in, in light of the movie. Yes. And this is Paris based. Let's make it a, <laughs> a touch of Paris. <laughs> um, so, at the end, Nanuchka is commandeered to again uh, guide the three comrades who has, again have a mission to sell something abroad. That was originally the plot. Uh, and they're spending way too much money, so she sent her to keep them in check, and that was all a ruse, so she could find her Parisian lover again in where was it again? Budapest? No, it's somewhere in Turkey. Uh, Acapulco? No. Um, Pokem? <laughs> no. Constantinople. <laughs> yeah, constant. <laughs> <laughs> sure. It's simple. Yeah. 
Um, Constantinople at the yeah, time. Yeah, 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 sure. Constantinople. It's, yeah. What, it's what they called it. <laughs> yeah. I, I know that it's not that now, but that's where yeah. they were at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in Constantinople. And Did you like how I had to they, go through Poconos they, first? They reunite and she stays because the three Russians opened a Russian restaurant in Constantinople and are defecting. And she wants to keep being together with her, for her lover. She knew him for like a day. Yeah. Basically, like the night that they met, they were in his room, and he's like, no, "Is it went, weird if I say I'm falling in love with you?" They were on one you? date. So the night that they, their their first date. No, no, the, they, they had a second date. If you count the meet cute, meet map cute, him so, as a as a date, then so, they went on, on two so, dates. So there was the map, and then there was. Then there was fancy dresses and getting drunk and bringing her back. That was way later. Yeah, but that but was no, the second date. But no, before that, whenever, yeah. the, whenever the night they first kissed, yeah. he said before that, he's like, is it weird if I say I'm falling in love with you? Uh, like, it was like, yeah. it was very quickly. It, it yeah, might yeah. have still been after they met in the cafe. No, they, they, they but it was still way too chemi- fast. They have zero chemistry. and they're... They don't have chemistry, but we do have chemicals because <laughs> this is a very... <laughs> Why should we bog down our minds with this inconsequential... <laughs> sentiment we have the formula for love yeah um i don't know where there's a Ger- oh there were germans in there right we totally f- we skipped the germans the most important plot point i mean that was the, the most greeting, impor- the that greeting. wasn't the most important plot point but yeah i was definitely gonna get to that those <laughs> three the three stooges um <laughs> are gonna pick up minochka yeah and they're but looking. they don't know that she's a woman yeah, so they're just looking. They looked at one guy and said, "He looks like a commie. Let's follow him." Yeah. So they start. <laughs> they, they, they literally commie. said that. Yeah, yeah. They say commie. I'm surprised they didn't say, "Look at that pinko over there." Yeah. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> it's like an Italian. Oh, look at that fascist. Yeah. So like they, <laughs> they start following the guy, and right when they're about to like tap on his shoulder to say hello, he meets a woman on the train track, and they both. And the thing is, I don't know much about history. Right. So I saw this was done in 1939, and I was like, "Oh man!" So the Nazis are probably coming up at some point because, like, I don't know yeah. when Nazis actually started being a thing. Um, so, <laughs> but I thought I was being stupid when I said like being a, like a dick, yeah. like being like, "Oh, we're we gonna have Nazis now." Is this how the war started? And they're following this dude down the thing. He sees another woman. They just stop, click their heels together, put their arms up in the air, and say, "Heil Hitler!" Heil Hitler! Like it was like, yeah. And, and just like that, and they're like, oh, I guess that was not all Kami. And then there's the two, like a close up on Nanuchka. Yeah. And then she walks up and they meet her. And then <laughs> later she's talking and she they do a close up again. She does like a Conan or a Jay Leno monologue where they like, turn, <laughs> face yeah. the camera, and says, We need tractors. We have not enough tractors. <laughs> yeah. How is it okay for I? This room must cost seven cows. Yeah. <laughs> Who am I to make my country pay seven cows? A day. Yeah. No, a week. I don't remember how much, but uh, let me put it this way. You know how, like, what I just said with that accent and the history I have of speaking about mm-hmm. not Russians, but, you know, shitty countries in general? Uh, <laughs> it does sound like that's just me making something up. That is goddamn verbatim what she was saying. Yes, exactly what she was saying, and it it and she looked directly into the camera. Mm-hmm. And I think we can move on to our next segment, and that is cinematography. So we had that moment in there where she directly looked into the camera. Yep, for a. F- full 15 seconds or something like that and gave us her sublim not so subliminal messaging i guess um what else there's there's not a lot of it's black and white that's it's the bo- thing it's bo- that's my biggest free. problem with it is yeah. because like that's, <laughs> that's your flowers biggest. are not gray like yeah. i don't understand are they just trying to communicate russian sadness why why did they get rid of all the colors it seems like a very ineffective way to tell a story 1939 man did like they not a, know that like the the world had colors then? No, 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 no. But black and white shooting on black and white is way cheaper. And this movie has all the the telltale signs of a cheap movie. I don't understand why is it cheaper? Because I mean, if you have film, wouldn't it be cheaper to just leave it how it really looks instead of making it black <laughs> and white afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Reggie, that is true and a good point, and like, I should consider. Whenever that. I post an Instagram photo, I yeah. have to put a filter on it to, to make, make it, black it black and, and white. white. That's, that's a step extra back. work. Yeah, that's extra yeah. work. Yeah, you, you, you they did a abs- hand by hand put a filter at- on every single frame. I'm so stupid. Yeah, it's so you're, expensive. Yeah, you, you're totally. It must right. have been for artistic reasons. Yeah, probably. Yeah, and that makes it even worse in in this scenario. 
<laughs> so fuck your cinematography. <laughs> well, there was this cool uh, bagel eating sweeping shot at the beginning where one of the three stooges was eating a bagel. Uh, well, a croissant or some kind of pastry. Uh, you can go to the same thing. And I don't didn't know what he was actually holding, so I'm just assuming what it is. What a great shot this must have been. Yeah, <laughs> no, but the shot itself was uh, was really well done. Otherwise, fuck this movie. It is, it's, 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 there's nothing. There's stock footage everywhere. There was this weird where Lenin smiled at her in the frame picture yeah as like a green screen effect and or blue screen effect or gray and white screen yeah, effect yeah, yeah. <laughs> different shade how of dare gray. you throw in colors <laughs> into a mix that's not the russian way <laughs> but yeah that one was weird but otherwise in, in russia we do not have colors we only have red yeah it's it's a very typically shot movie for that time. Yeah, that's fucking yeah. dumb. With with a lot of close ups to the face, so you could see the whole face. It, it looked like it was a play in a lot of scenes, like just very long, yeah, yeah. That's that's uh, long shots. Yeah. Uh, which a uh, good thing they did it in black and white because I don't know how the fuck they would have kept all that shit lit for colors when they're like some of the shots they did with how much they're moving yeah. around the room with it. Um, they did the original one shots, uh, which is great. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Every episode was like an R. Kelly music video. <laughs> Why? Uh, what? 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 Because he's the first pop first in the print. Uh, Kurt Hugo Schneider. I'm happy. Huh? Kurt Hugo Schneider. K H S man. Okay. Look it up. It's you too. It's like you. It's you <laughs> it's too. R- you're r- rambling off random letters. Oh, I'm feeling so old right now. <laughs> <sighs> oh god, damn this movie. All right. Um, I also, one of yeah. my notes to myself is. <laughs> yes. Are you going to share this note? I. What do you think I wrote? Oh, holy shit. <laughs> you sure not, you're not a doctor? Because those notes look like you're a doctor. Uh, you want me to give you pills? Is that what you're saying? As fuck. Time. Maybe, maybe, maybe a, a sexual drawing. I'm not sure. And then. Ps- ps- psychogen. At the beginning, maybe? I think I wrote... Spo- oh. This is really fun for the listeners. Us deciphering your your, your hand... Well, po- they can't... They claw written notes. Posage at time halls. Hats? Hoods? Hose? <laughs> hose? What? That they're not hose in the, this one. Plastic. Well, there are hose in this one. Yeah, the, the cigarette, cigarette bitches. Girls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cigarette yeah. bitches. That's the official French title if you translate it. The Siggy Bitch. Siggy Bitch? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, le le, le prostitue uh, fumée. Le bitch cigarette. Fumée. <laughs> the smoked bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent French. Both of us. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, this yeah. is can we Can we move on? Yeah, let's move on to sound because when she went back to Russia... Yeah, well, like the oh, sound was go, pretty. Let's un- go to sound. sound. Thank you, Reggie. Yep. That's so the thing about sound, sound is like the sound was pretty unremarkable, and I didn't really notice it yeah. until Russia, when she walked into yes. the room. She walked into the room, and obviously, just so that she's back in Russia, and it's sad. There was somebody just playing a cello as she walked in. They switched. They definitely switched audio engineers like in the last 20 minutes yeah. of the movie. Because for some reason, we also have the boom, yeah. boom, boom, so, boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. So yeah, before yeah, that, yeah, yeah, we had please. like, like she was like in the UFC, like doing a sad walk in before she loses her fight. They just had a guy playing, a woman playing a sad cello. And the moment she walks in, as soon as she gets to the table, they're just like, and time for the cello to stop being played. So then, yeah. like uh, two minutes after that, because I'm like, did she just get walk in music? The door opens and this old guy comes in and they just like Peter and the Wolf. It's just like a bassoon just going, Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and then, like when he closes, the, he opens the next door across the room, closes it, and it just goes, boom. yeah. And yeah. then they keep talking. Like five minutes later, he opens the door again, boom, 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 boom. boom. Like, it was like it was out of nowhere. Like it yes. made no sense with the aesthetics of anything yes. else in this film. No, no, that, that one was completely random and. Uh, it it 
put the the movie from just boring into the silly silly corner for like a second and then pulled out again like they they were afraid to make a completely silly movie but they still had to fulfill their silly quota so they made that their thing for some reason yeah it, it's just very grating the whole thing um you could understand everybody for the most except for the accents i guess yeah. <laughs> uh, was one thing this i just technically remembered sounds i forgot about yeah nanuchka was so like she said everything that was on her mind like she had no filter like she was so mean and direct. Yeah. And then she just, there was like a butler. I don't know if it was a butler who's just an old guy. But yeah. she's like. No, that was his butler. Yeah. We should not make you work. You are an old man. It is sad that you work so much because you are old. Please leave the room, little daddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was. Sorry, she was, not, not, little, little, little father. Please little leave. Little father, this yeah. so weird. Yes, it's, exactly. Yeah, no. In demeaning. And she just says it right to this guy's face. Like she's talking about him. Not to his face. uh, Near his face. Because she's like. A foot in front of him. That's right, a foot, not a meter, yeah, because yeah. I'm doing in terms yeah, of understand. Of yeah. And she just looks at the person to the right with, like, kind of giving him the side eye still and saying, he's too old for the work. Why do you make him work? Look at him. Yeah. He's a sad, feeble man. Go to go to bed, little father. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid movie. <laughs> oh, man, Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> just crossing out stuff. A lot of notes, man. Those yeah, are my notes. <laughs> those were all your notes. Yeah. Well, let's go, though. In this case, this is going to be really, really hard. And that's best. <laughs> I want to say when the credits rolled, but even that was underwhelming. Like, I kind of was anticipating those credits rolling for a while. So yeah. I'm just like, let's, let's get this over with. But it's a 30s movie, so it's very short. Also, it's just because so dumb. And, like, the ending was like, who knows? When you come here, you can be anywhere. You go, uh, maybe here, on, you go to the street, you can find anything. You know what is special about Constantinople? It can be anything. It can be on the in the bazaar. It yeah, can be on the yeah, back yeah, of a yeah. camel. But now it is on the balcony. Yeah. And it was like a, like a two-minute explanation where it's just like, just say he's on the balcony. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, this is a reunion. <laughs> it's and then, super stretched And then out. it was a really long amount of time of them talking to each other. Then they started kissing. Then it just showed the three Russian guys leaving. And then they stopped. And then they just watched a little bit longer. Yeah. Then they left. Then it went back to them. Yeah. And was that the last scene or was there something else after that? Because it went on way too long. No, the, uh, the last scene was uh, in that they, the Russians have opened up the restaurant and one of the Russians was splitting with them and was picket fencing. The, the, Boo! Yeah. <laughs> Boo! My, my best moment in this case, and then for me as an Austrian, is very hard to say, but... Uh, the Nazis were my favorite moment. The Nazis was probably the best moment. Yeah, because it was legitimately funny and out of nowhere. Yeah, completely out of nowhere. And also, <laughs> Nazis didn't play a role into th this movie at all. Not in the slightest. Nope. It's just a one-off joke that was good. Kind of. Because it was unexpected. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel, I'm, I'm curious how... Again, how does this have a... Well, in 1939, I'm curious how well that joke would play. <laughs> like, how hilarious! Like for an American audience, like yeah. it took America so long to get involved with the war after it started. Right, years before it started, hit like the, the Nazis kind of getting a little bit of uh, steam under their belt. Yeah, for them to be like, "Oh, hi, Hitler!" <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Americans. That's Very like funny. That's like it's <laughs> like Charlie Chaplin with words. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, the dictator. Nice one. Yeah. Oh, just the mustache in general. Oh, yeah. But that yeah, also, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, that, that was a Boo. very short Boo. <laughs> this movie is bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> For making yourself watch it after you had a choice again between, between this two or another, This or another shitty movie? Hey, I think the other one... Maybe it would be better. I don't know. In all fairness, we find, we when, you when you pitched this to me yesterday, yeah. you got it completely wrong. I got it so wrong. You're like, it's a spy comedy. Yeah. And I was like, oh, like, like a German gets smart? You're like, no, like an American gets smart. <laughs> so wrong. 
for so starring wrong. Hedy Lamar. Then you went so off on this wrong. huge tirade, which I, while I was trying to talk to a girl, like I'm so like sorry. a girl that like I brought to the show, and I'm like, hey, I would like to talk to this girl, a Russian girl at that. Yeah. Like I was preparing, I was doing my research, <laughs> and you just kept like you wouldn't leave. You just like Hedy Lamar, and I'm like, oh, okay. And you're like she invented stuff, and I'm like, I don't care. And you're like, let me tell you, she didn't even get ever get I'm married. Still, I'm then still you, flustered for after breaking your phone, man. Then you Wikipedia it, and you were like, oh, actually, she got married. Six times, uh, <laughs> but she also still invented stuff, and, and then, yeah, she had a bunch of affairs with women. Yeah, that, yeah. you cared about that too. And, I, and then you said, uh, "Am I doing that thing where I go on too long with a bit?" And I was like, "Yeah, you 100 percent are. Like, we can be done with this." And you're like, "Sorry, I guess I'm just doing a Paul stretch right now." <laughs> and I'm just like, "You're still doing it. Like, you're still. <laughs> I'm still not talking to the girl I'd like to be talking to." All right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> finish with your tirade. Uh, no. All right. No. Yeah, continue. In 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 this other segment, this is gonna be our secret category. Uh, I had some. Reggie's angry. <laughs> <laughs> I think you deserve that segment, but not this time. Uh, <laughs> I had I had some I had some secret category ideas. One would be would have been our favorite time. They said jewels. But jewels, jewels, yeah, yeah. Or, or um, if this movie actually is a secret Russian propaganda movie for uh, of some sorts, no, it made Russia look so bad. But he, unless, unless but I, he started reading Russian propaganda, yeah, and then she realized that capitalism is awesome. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's. And true. then she left Russia. Yeah, she really liked the diamond. The only way this Trump. is Russian propaganda is that they're going to be like, no, no, we tell them all the great stuff, like how you do not get to wear clothes that look good or feel good, uh, <laughs> and that you cannot enjoy self. And you if you s- smile one too many times, you need to be shot, blindfolded <laughs> and shot with champagne bottle, so that you have enough punishment. Come to our side, please. We do not have cookies, but we do have Porsche. Monica would enjoy this bit so much. <laughs> <laughs> I think Monica would, would have enjoyed this whole movie way, I feel way, like you're in just a like, way different way than you did. I feel like that was me making the joke and you're like, Monica would have enjoyed this. <laughs> Paul, on the other hand, does not. So you can stop at any time. <laughs> I, again, I'm not the, the same way that this the Russians jokes in this movie didn't land with me as well. Because they were the revolving door joke at the beginning. You loved some, it. <laughs> you loved that joke. You pause the film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I had high hopes after that revolving door joke, but they didn't go anywhere. What with about that. her redacted love letter? <laughs> Where they that she, was okay. It was two that pages. Was okay, of, you thought the revolving door was better than that. Oh yeah, so, no. definitely. Okay, so to sh- tell the listeners what it was, uh, the guy was coming into a hotel. He walked through the revolving door. Yeah, and then he just kind of sat there, looking super sketchy and super Russian. Yeah, like just in that, they actually managed to capture it pretty well. Because like yeah, just looking at him, I'm like, just a I'm, very like I'm like that guy looks like he's a Russian Jew. Yeah, um, he did. Yeah, he also like, he was he he just looks like a Russian who came home from a bar mitzvah. So <laughs> he came in there and he was looking With all very shady. happy face on. Yes, and the guy was like, "Can I help you?" He's like, "No, no, I'm just looking around." And then he walks back outside, and then a second later, he just starts going through the revolving door over and over again. Yeah, and then goes back outside. <laughs> In the the major D or whatever the term is, he like goes outside and he's like, "They don't have that in Russia, do they?" Like, <laughs> and he's like, "No, they do not. No, they do not." Yeah. Um. The the other one was that the woman she went back to Russia because she got deported and her love of her life sent her a letter. Finally, after months of not sending her letters, because apparently yeah. they all got sent back, but they let one through apparently. So she got it. She opens it. It's two pages, and it says, Dar- my darling Nonetchka." And then it's just a bunch of like black lines yeah. covering it up because it's redacted with a giant page size, like an A4 size stamp that says censorship. Oh, right. In English. <laughs> In too. English. Why, why is all of the products are too uh, with English? Yeah. Goat's milk the, for yeah. health. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then so it's just two pages of just black lines. And then it says yours, whatever yeah. his name was. Yeah. 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 Again, I don't know his name because none of these characters are compelling. <laughs> Uh, really, like they're not at all. They're yeah. so fucking stupid. Dude, um, we are not gonna. Go- I think we're done with the secret category in this case too, Good. because 
Good. We're, we're not going to the reviews because they they're gonna be wrong. They're wrong. They're, yeah, they're they're definitely wrong. Kind of this is an eight out of ten on uh something, and then ninety seven percent on Rotten Tomatoes, tomatoes yeah. and then eighty seven percent by fans in yeah. Rotten Tomatoes, where ninety seven percent was they're critics. all wrong. And then there was only one that was rotten. Look up the one that was rotten. <laughs> Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, I'm, that, I'm, I, 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 I have it right here. One sec. Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to final conclusion. Final conclusion. This is going to be... I'm going to... You know, look, I usually take a very firm stance yeah. on the, on these videos, but I'm going to I'm gonna switch it up this time and do things a little bit differently because I've been quite negative. So unlike all the other ones, oh. I'm going to... I'm going to... Instead, I'm going to say... Uh, fuck this movie! I would never watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> I would never watch it again. Not even if you were forced to. I barely you, watched it this you time. You would close your eyes if it was at a party. I was on my phone texting Russians most of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> and even when the like, I was just getting the dot 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 of someone typing a message. I'm like, wow, this dialogue is way better than this movie. <laughs> More suspense. More interesting characters. I actually cared what, about the yeah. consequences. Right, right. Yeah. This is your shortest episode in this case. Yeah, good. Yeah. Still too long. Yeah. Plugs? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, 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 not, I'm not even giving my own final conclusion. You can find me on the 49th episode of FFPE, Killing <laughs> Myself. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Stay tuned. That would uh, be so funny. <laughs> I'm just going to Chester bidding to myself right here, right now. And that's only because you never want to show up to FFP again. <laughs> uh, you can find me on Facebook at The Reginald Barris. Mm -hmm. And you can find Vienna Chuckles, Vienna Chuckles uh, on Facebook. and Link in the description links below. Links in the description. Yep. If you're in Vienna, check out some comedy shows. They are fun. Yeah. Check out the ones that I just said, especially because they, they are make, really fun. They're fun, and I make money from them. And your so, one-year anniversary show went off without a hitch. Yeah, it went was really amazing. Well. Yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed that one. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, happy birthday, by the way, again, Thank belated you. again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Double belated birthday, happy birthday. I mean, at this point, it's just super early. Yeah. <laughs> um, find FF. Um, on Facebook, give it a like if you if you haven't yet. Um, and check out the 49th episode; it was super good. Yeah, and go go to Paul Jacobs on my on Facebook as well. You you will find me. It's Paul Jacobs comedy, right? Yes. Yeah, you did. Yeah, say the whole. Right. Uh, yeah, there are other Paul Jacobs around. Yeah. 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 Not a lot, apparently, for some weird reason. But yeah, Paul Jacobs comedy. Um, there where you will will find my. The shows I'm on, some of them, most of them, um, made by you. Yes. Thank you for that. And especially in the summer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hard <laughs> pressed for you to be, find anything else in the summer that you're that's on. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, the next one will probably record it in London already. So. When did you record in London? Huh? No, I'm gonna record in London. Uh. We're not in the future yet, Reggie. <laughs> 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 the movie felt like that, but. <laughs> We're not in the future already. All right. Um, thank you again for being here, Reggie, and yeah. sitting through this this movie with me. Um, at least you got a sweet, sweet case for your phone out of it. Yeah. I also got a phone that one of the buttons doesn't work as well. The other one is a little bit recessed, and now it's much more, much less impervious to water. Yeah. I'm but sorry. But at least I got a sweet case out of it, <laughs> and all I had to do was watch Nanuchka. Yeah. But, okay, yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's I'm fine. really sorry. It's fine. I, I think that's the first time I apologize on this podcast. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. See you the next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, that's a little bit loud. Yeah. Gonna keep down with the singing. What, do you do you plan on singing during the podcast? <laughs>